Oh, bro. My brother in Christ. I'm going to have to draw this entire map. All right. Well, I saw a gossip stone. Let's check it out. Really? I think I have to draw this island is what this wants me to do. Well, most certainly a, a well is what we're looking at here. What you got to say? Nothing? On this isle, a golden chief dwells who can harness the power of sea cyclones. At his request, I'm here to prevent just anyone from entering his chamber. You must prove yourself by hitting four of my buddies in a very specific order. So, okay. Map. One, two, three, four. Gotcha. Oh, yo, do we learn the warp song on this island, maybe? Well, not warp song, but like, do we get, gain the ability? Awesome. Let me help with the gift, Jim. Aha! All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. And if you're not, I pray that your day gets, be uh, gets better. My bad. Um, so last episode on Faith of Glass HD. HD. <laughs> I'm so used to saying Wind Waker HD. Uh, last time on Phantom Hourglass here, we, um, what did we do? We got, we got the sea chart from the Temple of the Ocean King here. Um, and that allowed us to go up through the north, uh, to the northwest portion of the map. But there was a slight problem. We couldn't get to the fog. We had to learn a, you know, like an alternate path through. But here we are, I'll guess. I assume this is where the second dungeon's going to be, so... Let's go ahead and get right to it here. Have you found yourself on the path of wayfaring, Jim? Don't fret. If you haven't, you may already be on the way and not know it. Yes, finding your way isn't like discovering a pebble lodged between your toes. No, a true wayfarer can travel the whole world and never find just one way. But I did want to give you something unusual that I found on my own travels. May it serve as a reminder that you can find anything if you give it enough time. Sincerely yours, the old wayfarer. Aha! So here's one of the ship cosmetics I was talking about in the last episode. Yeah, go to shipyard. Okay. But yeah, you can like customize the look of your ship and stuff. It's actually pretty cool. I don't know if we'll end up doing that, though. Uh, if we'll end up getting a full set. I don't want to like mishmash the sets, you know. That would be kind of ugly. I wonder if this island has any uh, diggable spots. Like how, um, remember in that cave I had like a spot you could dig? Wonder if this place has any of that. Okay, so clearly we had to go down, but I just want to double check here. Can't roll while the wind's going either. All right. Oh. Well, that's a shortcut across, I assume. Whoa. That, that was almost bad. I almost rolled off the, the edge. It's so hard to do uh, just one sp spin attack. Bro? Damn. It's so hard to do just one spin attack with the... Uh, with the, the stylus controls, right? Because like I spin it in a circle and I see it doesn't come out. So I'm like, oh, I'll do it again. And then you do, it does both. <laughs> so you get two instead of one. But, oh well. That's job, right? Alright, let's wait for this. The Isle of Gust. They did not lie. This shit is gusty. Oh, actually, I think I need to read that sign. It might be like a... Code or something. Strong wind warning. Nice, nice reading animation. Don't get blown off. Okay. Yeah, I think we need to do that. I want to see what's in this cave first, though. All right, let's check it out. Harpies or something, I imagine. Ooh, a courage gem, actually. Okay, well, we, we don't even have the, the courage fairy or nothing, so we probably won't be able to do anything with that at all for a quite a while. All right, what's this say? Wayfarer's Journal. You never know where the wayfaring winds will take you next. After months upon this windy isle, I discovered smaller islands. But my big discovery, the one that sets my heart aflutter, the mermaid. 
That is where my Wayfaring Destiny takes me next. Mm. What is this, though? I guess I'll mark those on the map. Why not? So there's something right here. Fill that in and... I think it's like right in here. I'll make this one a little bit bigger as I don't have like any, there isn't like any key spots to go off of there. Like in any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Visual keys, I guess. To get an accurate, I guess I could have drawn lines, right? Oh well. All right, let's try this again. There we go. Alright, so. Double. So weird that they brought these guys back from uh, Wind Waker. These little devil bastards. <laughs> these guys were obnoxious. Please. I want to kill you. Don't run. There we go. They always showed up in like a packs of a million. Seems that's true of this game, too. It's still weird, uh, having to look for this, though. they like, the flickering textures. It's very, uh... I don't know. It's, it's strange. Okay, so that's a shortcut back there. We don't need to go back there. At least, uh, inside the cave seems to be just fine, right? As long as it's not, like, a dirt, um, floor, it doesn't really flicker too bad. Oh. Okay. Well, I goofed that up pretty bad. Okay. Alright, that's not bad. I think we have two of those now? Maybe? I don't know how many of those we have, actually. Dude, these guys drop a lot of rupees, huh? Kind of wild. 20 rupees. Also, sorry if I sound a little bit tired uh, today. Uh, I just woke up, right? I'm trying to do my best to do these videos um, as soon as I wake up now. Bro. Hello? Tablet? You good? All right, well. Um, so I've gotten in the habit of doing them at the end of my day. And that's been leading to me just not recording videos at all because, you know, I, I'll get to the point where I should record a video and I'm like, eh, I'll do it tomorrow, right? So now I'm starting to trying to do them at the start of my day rather than the end of it. But also, um, I'm also trying to cut back on coffee because I've been drinking too much coffee and my body's starting to depend on it too much, right? So uh, there's also that. But, just give me a bit. I'll wake up, I'm sure. Ooh. Big green. So that's all this was, huh? Wait a minute. Maybe I can jump? Nah. Maybe? Oh, wait. I could jump down uh, on top of... No. Hmm. Let me go back inside here. Let me just, uh... No, we can make that jump, can't we? Yeah. Yeah, we can make that jump. I'm tripping. Let's do that. I also wanted to thank you guys for, uh... We're almost at 50 views on part one of this series, man. It's, uh... Not what... Honestly, I did not expect this playthrough to uh, explode like it did. Uh... I assume it's because, you know, this game doesn't have a lot of representation on YouTube, mainly due to the emulators being, like, buggy, right? But I don't mind all that. I just like playing the games, right? Like, they're, I don't care if it's, like, as long as it doesn't affect the gameplay, like the frame rate, the mechanics, right? Which I, I guess it kind of affects the mechanics, but not in a negative way, right? Then I'm okay with it. Let me reposition my thing here. I think the ca cable is getting snagged. Ah. Right. Um, but as long as it doesn't affect gameplay in a negative way, then I'm fine with it. Right. So, that's why I went ahead and decided to do this. 
And besides, even if Nintendo comes after me, I do still own my original copy on the DS, right? So who's going to stop me from doing this, you know? <laughs> the temple entrance stops gusting only when windmills had have had their fill. I guess I'll mark it on the map. It's easy enough to remember, but sure. Let me make sure there isn't any more discrepancies here. Man, that is one crusty image. <laughs> I guess the DS screen wasn't the most uh, high-resolution shit either, though. Only when the windmills have had their fill, huh? All right, well, I guess we need to go down here, then. Okay, good. We can get back up. What do you think those are, Jim? All those spots in the ground. Looks like they were shoveled in with dirt. That is true, huh? All right. Let's dig her up, then. Just a bunch of air holes? Okay. Hey. Chill. Alright. Uh. Are all these just, uh. Like little, little gusts of air? Or are some of these going to be like rubies and stuff, too? I wonder. Well, let's go over here to this one. There's a chest here, right? It's probably, uh. Probably money. I have yet to see a heart piece, I think, right? I don't think we've gotten a heart piece yet. Does this game even have heart pieces? Let me, uh, what's my collection screen? Button. Yeah, I don't even see heart pieces on here, so I guess, um... That's not a thing in this game. I've been wondering where those have been, because, like, normally, you know, we would have probably had, like, a heart container or two from, uh, just collecting them out in the wild already, right? It's a little weird. Oh, well, though. Uh, this area is sus. Don't mind me. I might, uh... Might take a minute to dig up real quick. Doesn't this area just seem sus? Like, why, why is this here? Oh. I feel like there's got, got to be something important here. If there's not, then I guess I'm a psycho. Bruh. So really, that was nothing then. Brings me back to the old uh, Link to the Past days when I would sit there and literally dig out every single tile in an area just because I was slightly suspicious of one thing, you know? <laughs> oh, I see. I have to dig that back up then, huh? All right. Yeah, no more air for you. Uh, no dig spots up here. Here's one, though. Ah, ah you love to see that. Okay. The hero must blow on the three sacred windmills to open the path forward. Then what are the three sacred windmills? These are the three sacred windmills. All right, let's uh check, check, check. All right. Well, let's cover all this shit up so we can get by. So far, I, I like the inventiveness with the items, though. Whoa, that's freaky. Boing oing. Creatures that are sensitive to sound dwell in the sands ahead, so walk about sound bring as little attention to yourself. If all else fails, flee to a high spot. Oh, God, I just had to walk slow then? Uh, dreadful. Anyways, though... Uh, I like how inventive the game is with, uh, the items so far, like, reper- Bruh. Uh, repurposing the, um, items from, like, past games. Like, the boomerang, completely new item. The shovel has, like, a new mechanic. Like, I like that they built some, some of the world around the shovel rather than the shovel just being a part of the world. Uh, like you, like th this island is a really good example, right? So like if this link pass, you know, you just use it to find like a few items and then you're done, right? Boom. But this game, you can actually use it to solve puzzles, which is awesome. Same creatures devour whatever they find. 
Okay. I heard that. 10-4, rubber ducky. And a smart one. I assume there's another one up here. No? Maybe it's down, uh, maybe it's lower. I remember, uh, as a kid, I used to, uh, when I was bored, I would actually fill in the maps with, like, so, like, this is, this is here, right? Oh, shit. Uh, th this little fence is here, right? Uh, I would draw that kind of stuff on the map, too. Just, no, no real reason, I just did it. <laughs> So, like, all my maps were, like, pretty highly detailed. Alright. It's below. Bro, my man got a set of lungs, bro. Come on, now. You tell me it, the the air from his lungs was able to, uh, move that windmill? That's actually OD. Yeah, you thought. They almost had me. I don't think these have to be in any particular order, so. No, please. Oh. Close. Close to not getting eaten. Alright, that's all three. Does that open the door below us, too? Oh. Oh, I see. There's... Okay, that's what that other door was. Gotcha. So now we should be able to go down there. Alright, cool. Yep, sure enough. The wind's off. Alright, let's check it out. What's this dungeon about here? Temple of Wind. Is this going to be a mini dungeon, or is this a full dungeon? We're finally inside, Jim. Looks like we won't escape sudden gusts inside the temple, either. So be careful. Okay. I tell you what, this, uh, this is giving me, uh, a Link to the Past vibes this dungeon is. Was those, uh, bomb flowers? It was. Okay, well, I, I guess I could have gotten a little bit closer before I did that. I think I can use the boomerang to activate these worst case scenario, though. There we go. Hey. No. Something tells me we're going to get bombs. So just, uh... You know, slot feeling. All of the, uh, bomb-related stuff. Oh, okay. That, was, that just leaves that off. I guess that was two ways I could have done that puzzle then, huh? Damn, we're already at a thousand rupees, huh? I wonder if the... I think I asked this already. I wonder if the rupees are uncapped in this game. Uh, so far, it seems like they are, right? Alright, let's head down. Yeah, use our telekinesis on the door real quick. Mm, coolio. Oh, they got they got me on these top paths with the air now. Okay, so it seems like certain just like platforms or whatever, just ledges are programmed to let you hop, whereas most of them you just simply fall. Makes sense. Either that or I'm just really bad at hitting the like right conditions for a ledge hop, right? Mm, uh, that's a lot of money. Please. There we go. Okay. Oh, this looks like a one-way uh, entrance here. <laughs> Let's check out the rest here before we do anything else. Ah, right, what do you got to say? Any anything useful? The number of treasure chests left here is one. It'll cost 20 rupees to see where it lies. I'm loaded. Just tell me. Make a note of it. 
Wait. Alright. Go ahead. Ah, oh, I did not mean to... Go ahead. There we go. Can I even see it? Bruh, I'm dumb. I just paid 20 rupees for like no reason. Dave, is that the boss key already actually? It might be. Also, can I move this? I can't. Mm. Bruh. I guess I should have pushed it a little bit more. Didn't quite think of that. Really? There we go. Alright, so now we have a way back. We need it. What the hell's happening here? Aha! I see, okay. So these guys just have, like, helmets. Oh, really? Interesting. Wait, how did we get to that, uh... It's just a staircase that takes us to the... The supposed boss key, right? Alright. Oh god, more of these guys. I mean, the money's nice, but... Uh, there's another... Wait, no, that was a block, not a chest. Well, there's a chest. Alright. Uh, what's this say? When two wings flutter, the door will swing wide. So, I guess I need to power two windmills? Is what it's telling me? Alright. I'll get right on that then. I feel like I had to do something involving this block. Oh, well, maybe not. <laughs> okay. Courage Gym, nice. That block really isn't use for, useful for anything. Oh, oh, no, no, no. I see what it's used for. Gotcha. We gotta use that so we can get on top of that yellow block we were just looking at. Gotcha. So this guy go up. All right, there we go. Yeah, nice. Deeper we go. I think I need the boomerang here. Maybe not. The number of treasure chests left here is two. Well, I can already see where one of them is. Uh, that's okay. I assume they're, they'll be in plain sight. Okay, I, I have to like hard follow these paths then, huh? Kind of want to dig that up. Let's just see what it is. Wind. Slight anno slightly annoying that we have to uh, take our time going across here like this, though. Ah. Respect silence and tread quietly or else you will rouse the slumber. When all the pillars of wind rise, the doors will open. Alright, well, let's see. There's one like right here in this corner. Let me, let me not use X's. They're, X's aren't exactly precise. Right in here. Right down here below it. In this corner. And at this corner. Alright, there we go. Oh. Alright. This must be the spot up here there we go one down
Damn, we're, we're, uh, let me actually check and see how many of those we got. We gotta have, like, five, right? Four. Huh. Here's your map. Yeah, we're, uh, we're cooking with the power gym shit. We'll have a shitload soon. I wonder what happens at 10. Does it just, like, um, do we get an item? Do we get... Maybe that's the heart piece mechanic of the game. I don't know. No, oh, we could just run. Here, here's a path. I have no idea how that works. All right. <laughs> you thought. That's not. Oh God. <laughs> I thought I saw a patch of, like, land for us to walk on, but I was mistaken. Alright, let me take my time over here. Alright, is that going to open up this door over here, too? Looks like it. No. What do you mean, no? Hey! Bro, sucked me while I was going up. The hell? Alright, let's go up here. Maybe we can get a hold of a dungeon item. So that's where that goes to. Wait, maybe right? No, that's too close. Alright. What knowledge do you have for me? The number of treasure chests left here is one. No. Uh, guess let's just go down. Okay. Here we go. So now we need to go back to the other side. I see now. I thought I made a mistake coming this way first, but we gotta go both ways anyway, because uh, we gotta hit both of those uh, windmills, I forgot. Bruh, I meant to roll. I made attacked. Ugh, oh, these enemies are obnoxious. Yeah, you thought. Alright. At least Nintendo was gener generous enough to know that uh, I don't give a shit about going slow, so they put a shitload of <laughs> pots full of hearts there for me. Hell yeah. Alright, there we go. Yeah, there's that key we needed to open up that uh, door downstairs. Okay. I assume that's going to be our bombs. Go ahead and check that out. If it's anything but bombs, I'm going to be very shocked. Alright. Yeah, that, that's it for sure. What should be just like something random? <laughs> hey, bombs. Only 10, huh? Alright. Let's go ahead and put those on. Because we're going to make quick use of these already. Alright, right here. Oh wow, the fuse doesn't light until you actually throw them. That's nice. Okay. So that, that thing actually said there is one more chest, right? So where are we missing that one? Also, I just remembered. Oh, let me stand here. I need to get a little bit closer to, uh, up here. Somewhere up against this wall, there's, uh, like a hidden entrance, right? To that big groupie. Right here. Perfect. <laughs> I love I love it when these games do stuff like that. Like they make an obvious like they let you know there's something there, and then um 
there, there, it's just not obvious how to get there, right? You have to think a little bit outside the box. Slightly outside the box. I remember uh, Twilight Princess was the first time I saw... Not Twilight Princess. A Link to the Past the first time I saw that as a kid. And that shit blew my mind. Like, I, I tried for, like, hours to figure that out. And then I, I finally, like, connected two and two. Because, you know, kid brain and mush brain. And I was like, oh my god. Holy shit, man. Th that is satisfying how they all blow up, like, instantly like that. Ocarina of Time, they kind of, like, take take their time to blow up. No, not not in this game. Yeah. Have we been this way? We haven't. Blank faces can hide truth as well as blemish ones. Study the walls carefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm aware. This looks like uh, what it was talking about. Sure enough, it was. Can I get a bomb refill? I mean, we only carry up to 10, right? It's got to be like the smallest amount in the series that you start out with, right? Ow. Hurt myself. All right. No bombs. There's some palms. Hell yeah, man. I wonder, can we, like, kind of throw one right in the center here? Will that hit both? Probably not. Yeah, no. That will, though. I will never n get tired of seeing that. That That is dope, how they, like, just instantly explode like that. <laughs> All right. All right, I gotta get that shit out of the way. All right, check it out. What's the boss gonna be? Wait a minute, is this even the island with the uh, the wisdom? Let me let me check my map, my C chart. Oh no, this is the right island. Yeah, 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 okay. I'm I'm tripping. I thought we was at that that northeastern island up there. No, this is the right one. Oh wow, rolling sends you back tremendously. Holy shit. Step into the blue lot. Already, huh? No, that was there in the the first temple, right? Like, right before the boss? Huh. I don't know. Ooh, this boss arena is cool. <laughs> it's an Octorok, bro? Hell yeah. Careful, that bloated beast can summon Cyclones. Okay. So I assume what we need to do is, um... Yeah, that. All right, so where's the next one at? Over here? No. That's cool how you can like see him on the uh, top screen there. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Ow. Bruh. <laughs> Doing spin attacks is hard with this camera angle. Ah, right, where now? Over here. Bruh. <laughs> that was not the best DPS phase. I actually did my spin attack too fast this time. Oh. Now come over this way, homie G. Ow. Oh, damn. I, my ass got comboed, bro. Oh, my. Bruh. What the hell? Okay. Come over here. 
Oh, he's going to be difficult now. All right, there we go. Finally, shit. There we go. Shit. That was annoying. And now my man has been reduced to atoms. Cool boss arena, though. Cool boss, too. So is this going to be another 10 minutes to our Phantom Hourglass? I assume so, right? Alright, let's see. You got more sand. Two minutes have been added. Really? Two? Huh? But we got 10 for the first one. Was that guy just not as demonic? Alright. Fair enough, I guess. At least we got some. What's up, bro? You've been saved. You're welcome. I'm Neri, the spirit of wisdom. Thank you for slaying that vile monster. Now the seal has been broken and I'm free. Look, Jim. This time it's the spirit of wisdom, Neri. She just said that, bro. Ah, oh, whatever. We came all this way to seek your help. The Ocean King must be locked up somewhere too. The spirit of power is with you. Of course I'll help. All right. I just want to know like what all these uh these fairies do once you get like their um. Where they what are they called? Uh the gems, the courage gems and shit. Whoa, weird. Why'd the graphics go back down? You see that? Okay, we're back to crusty graphics for a second. Cool. They're like all jittery too. I wonder if it's gonna stay like that? Probably not. I imagine it'll go back to normal. Yeah. Dude, that was strange. Why did the why did the graphics do that? All right, whatever. All right, so yeah, here we go. Convenient little shortcuts by Georgie. Whoa, whoa, Jim, you did all right, kid. Looks like you hauled in another spirit, eh? To the temple of the Ocean King, then. Let's set sail. All aboard. We're setting sail. Okay. Straight to the Ocean King temple, though? Kind of want to go check out that northeastern eye. I don't think we... No, no, we was... No, we wasn't there. And we... Oh, there's a few things we need to do. Banana Island. Yeah, we need... We should go there. We haven't even been there yet. Oh, great. Looks like we're going to have to kill these bastards. Ah. Man, it's weird how... when, At least for me, when I wake up... Oh, God. I got these guys here, too. When I wake up, uh, I'm not hungry at all, right? But then, like, say, like, an hour later, I'm starving. Like, right now, I'm quite hungry, but... We're already like two thirds of the way through the video, so I'll just um, tough it out. Right. But that is weird. Let me not even bother. Wait, have we been to this island? We have been to this island, right? What the hell was this island? But I'll just tough it out until then. You know, it'll make eating that food all the more rewarding. Right. Okay, we have been here, but did we ever go to the other side of the island? I don't think we did, right? We needed, uh, bombs? Well, now we have bombs. So I assume we can do something here. Okay. This looks suspicious already. 
Like, you go and just put two torches there, suspiciously like that. Yeah, okay. Well, maybe I should went down the cave a little bit more and see if there was uh, more than just those two. Yeah, usually they like to do that. They'll put uh, two torches there, and then there'll be like a hidden entrance right in the center. Wait a minute, is there a whole town on the other side of this? Bro. Homie has made a comeback. Are you serious? Cannon game stand? Bro. <laughs> oh my lord. No way. Does he still do the cardboard shit? Oh, he doesn't do it quite the same. Best stage of the open sea. Leap on board, prepare to set sail, and raise anchor. On the horizon looms a blue target. Man, the cannon take aim, and kaboom. Holy shit, sploosh kaboom has evolved. <laughs> what even is that? Splosh bang kaboom? You obliterate the target, earning 100 points. Suddenly, red target sails into view. It fears nothing, for it can't be broken. It's all right, so... Oh, okay, so the red ones I can just, like, fire on infinitely. Yeah, I got it. Record is 2,500, so good luck. All right, gotcha. Chip sails on its own, and we're off. Okay. I imagine I'll be able to hit the 2500 quota here. Unless I'm missing a shitload of targets on the rat right now, which is possible. <laughs> I haven't really been paying much attention to that side. Alright, cool. What's with this one? Why is it spinning? Yeah, okay. Oh yeah, we're easily gonna break this this high score. Easy peasy, man. Although uh tapping with is that a giant sign, bro, on that island? That is a giant sign. I wouldn't constitute tapping the screen as very difficult, right? But maybe on the DS screen, it's like really blurry, right? Maybe. Uh-oh, are we gonna choke? No, you're kidding. Are you serious? We're gonna choke. Ah, uh, bro. Alright, I guess. Nah, run it back, bro. What in the world? 2480, bro? Ah. Uh, that's devastating. That, that ends a man's career right there is what that does. All right, we, we got to farm up, like, for real. I think I was prioritizing the blues a little bit too early is what the problem was. All right, we should be good now. I would have to imagine. I mean, we're smoking our score from last time already. I 
Ah, please. Ah. Yeah, we got it. For sure. Yeah. I can't believe that, man. 2480 we got. What in the world? I can't make it up. Haha, <laughs> 2720. I wonder what the task is. Probably like 3,000 maybe? Get a prize for cannon excellence. Oh god. Hey, okay. Nice. Qualify for this bonus prize. Bruh. Well, I guess I got a refund. Okay, uh, nah, I don't, I don't want to spend this whole episode doing that. <laughs> Dude, I should have, uh, sandbagged a little bit, huh? To get the, uh, other prizes for, like, beating the record. That was a blunder. I don't know if, uh, beating the record actually gives you, like, different prizes out of that minigame out of the chest. But, um, if it does, then that is going to be a tough one, for sure. I definitely should have sandbagged. Big mistake. <laughs> oh god, what if I lock myself out of, like, uh, some big upgrades? Oh no. Alright, let's, uh... We don't have the, uh, we don't have the thing that lets us, um... What, what's it called? The the, uh, the claw that lets us grab shit out of the ocean floor, so we can't, you know, can't do that with those, uh, those X marks, the spot, the treasure spots I mark, and the treasure map mark, right? Can't do anything with those. Unless, wait, are those just islands straight up? Yo, they are islands. Wait a minute. It looks like we can dock there. Oh, okay. I thought those were treasure. Okay, cool. Let me go ahead and erase the markings off of that because that looks ugly. Gotcha. Well, I want to see this traveler ship first. Maybe homie will give us uh, a power gem. Would not mind that one bit. We should go check out Beetle Shop, too. We are loaded on cash. Ooh, that Traveler ship does not look very friendly. Actually, you know what? That kind of looks like our ship from uh, Wind Waker, doesn't it? Oh, dude, that definitely is just uh, our ship from Wind Waker, huh? <laughs> That's awesome, bro. Oh no, bro. This is definitely not what that shit looked like, bro. You're trolling. Alright. Say, I can't help but notice you're dressed exactly like me. Are you a fan of mine? Ah, <laughs> don't get me wrong. It doesn't surprise me in the least to meet a fan. I traveled the world on my Prince of Red Line ship. Prince of Red Line ship? Mm-hmm. To save all things from evil. Yes, you heard me right. I'm what you would call a hero. So what do you want? An, my autograph? No. Alright. I'll, I'll get an autograph. I'll run out autograph paper. I know this can't take the place of my autograph, but... Well, based on the way you're dressed, I'm quite sure you're an admirer, admirer. Don't worry, I understand. I'll make you my apprentice. Yes, yes. What's your name? Jim? You are now Hero's Apprentice. Studying and learn the dashing ways of a hero. Bro? Let me train you. Yes, I would like to learn new stuff. Bro? That didn't count. I went too easy on you, but I won't do it again. Let it spot. Bruh. 
I mean, we are cutting him with an actual sword, right? <laughs> Let's leave it at that. Your skills will never improve if you overdo it. In fact, you may contact the hole two times. That's an appropriate skill level for the apprentice. Excellent. Awesome, man. Something big might come in handy. Yeah, I was thinking if we was going to get like that whole mini game like of the old man in Wind Waker, but nope, this guy's just a bitch. The Prince of Red Lion Ship, huh? That's goofy. All right, well, let's go to Beetle Shop. No, I don't want to board that damn ship, homie. Wonder if we could have uh, marked those islands on our map even without the, uh, like, putting the, having had the trigger for uh, hitting that one map that even shows us, right? Probably. Random that those guys take uh, two hits. Ah, right, what you got, Beetle? Is that a bomb bag? 1,000 rupees. You'll be able to carry more bombs? Okay. I think that's the biggest bomb bag you can get. Taurus Prowl. Nah, I might. That's a lot of money. Helmer Rock Plume. The price is crazy. Yeah, damn right it is. They really should remaster these games. Oh? More perks. Okay, yeah, yeah. Just like, uh... Now, it, it would be awesome to see these, like, remastered for, uh, like, the Switch or something. I, I think that would be dope. Wouldn't be the worst idea, either. I wouldn't think. I think these would sell well, honestly. I mean, if they give it the same kind of love and treatment that they gave uh, Link's Awakening right, this could be an awesome remaster. Both of them could be. Oh, you just free money then. Uh, that Octorok Rock can live. Oh, bro. My brother in Christ. I'm going to have to draw this entire map. Look at the upper screen. There's no map. Look at the upper screen, bro. You break it before the wall. No one even set foot here. Think of all the undiscovered treasure. How could it be? How could there be if no one's been here before? Maybe someone knows diddly about treasure. Um, buried something? Bah, whatever. I just know that there's treasure here, Jim. I sniffed it out. Now you go find it. Maybe around the middle of the island? Alright, well, I saw a gossip stone. Let's check it out. Really? Ugh. I'm gonna have to... Whoop, wrong button. I think I have to draw this island is what this wants me to do. And it goes from our ship all the way up to here. And then it kind of cuts a corner around here. All right, I need the boomerang. Bruh. Oh, I don't need the boomerang. Let's go. Yeah, okay. Any chess though? Gossip stone. What's up with these gossip stones, bro? Why don't they want to talk to me? All right. Oh, uh, anyways, let's finish marking out our map here, and then it goes down here. Whoa! Simmer down. This is the tail. I think it looks something like that, right? Close enough.
And then it goes straight over here. Then a little bit downwards. Ah, does this got some stones say anything? Probably not. Oh? Oh, no. Never mind. They all do that. Well, most certainly a, a well is what we're looking at here. What you got to say? Nothing. On this isle, a golden chief dwells who can harness the power of sea cyclones. At his request, I'm here to prevent just anyone from entering his chamber. You must prove yourself by hitting four of my buddies in a very specific order. Uh, ready to listen? The order is very specific. Steers with rudder. So, it's fins. Then make spray. Third, it paddles. Then sees away. So, okay. Map. One, two, three, four. Gotcha. Alright, let's go check it out then. Ow! That's not nice. Alright, did you know there are gold frogs around the sea that can kick up cyclones? So that's what that is. So those are going to be like a warping mechanism then? Perhaps? God, these guys are annoying. Are you all going to just follow me? For the ever? Like, go do something else. Please. Alright. Did you know there are six golden frogs stationed around the entire sea? So I guess you only get six warp points in this game. Gotcha. All right, number three. Did you know the golden frogs will slip away unless you use a cannon? No, I'm aware. Oh, yo, do we learn the warp song on this island, maybe? Well, not warp song, but like, do we get, gain the ability? Did you know you can fly to a variety of spots using cyclones? So convenient, not that it matters to us, really. Awesome. All right, sounds good. So, homie G is just down here, then. The eye sees something valuable that's hidden underneath its statue. Okay, so I need to dig underneath the statue, then. The fourth one, specifically. Hey, I'm trying to roll, not slash. Damn it. I am here. Show me your ways, Golden Frog. Hell yeah. Well, by my golden gizzard, a slow-toed child. Whatever brings you here, slow-toe? You stand in the presence of Golden Chief Cyclos. I'm so fantastic- Oh, <clears throat> God. What a voice crack. I'm so fantastic that I'm the only frog hereabouts who leaps by cyclones. Slick, eh? I just realized he even has the model of uh, the guy in Wind Waker that teaches you the, uh... God, what's the song? The, the warp song. I think, right? Slow toe, is that not the phantom hourglass that you carry? It certainly means, most certainly and undoubtedly, that you know old Oceus. We go way back, that old codger and me. He watched out for me until I found safe harbor in this secret spot. He's helping us look for the ghost ship. A girl named Tetra was taken away by it. She's Jim's friend. Ghost ship, you say? I've heard of that dreary vessel from my guilt minions. Do you have any notions as to where the ghost ship might be? Not a clue yet. First, we need to save spirits that are scattered on the seas. Ah, but the sea must seem very vast for being such as yourselves. Very vast. Let me help with a gift, Jim. Aha! That is the Cyclone Slate. By drawing symbols on it, you can ride Cyclones too. Want to leap elsewhere off your ship? Then spring into action with the Slate. Could you tell us more about these symbols? My guilt minions are strewn over the seas, six minions total, sparkling in the sun. Find them, ask them. They each know one symbol. 
Then, by drawing symbols on the slate, your ship will fly to that spot in a flash. So all we need to do is meet the golden frogs and learn their symbols. But are you really sure that we can take something so wonderful with us? How can I just sit back and do nothing for you, friends of Oceus? The sea is vast, and that will help you bridge the distances. Our deepest thanks, your golden majesty. No, no, that's golden sheep. Hell yeah. So now we can warp everywhere, huh? Oh yeah, before I forget, let me uh, go dig up... Um, it said like below the statue at the eye, right? So we need to go do that. Probably just a big rupee, I'd imagine. But still, money's money, right? Oh, no, it's just a treasure chart. Straight up. Hell yeah. We still don't got like an anchor to do anything with that, right? But I am ready. Yep, 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 yep. Let's go. I want to go check out that last island up north before we, uh, before I end this episode. Maybe that will be our, uh, our anchor. Whoops, that was shoddy. That was also shoddy. Let me just draw a straight line. Not as straight as I'm going to get it. <laughs> All right. Here we go, man. Goodbye, bird. Dude, I shot that bird and he just like flew off at Mach 10. Hell yeah. Coolio. I assume the next thing we do get is going to have to be the anchor, but I have no idea. Yeah, get snuck. Show me your symbol, young one. Yup. So you want to draw on that cyclone slate to fly right here. All right. Pay attention. Backwards in. Draw this to return here. Hey, you better write it down somewhere. All right. Hold up. Backwards in. Oh, that was ugly. Let me try that again. Ah, good enough. Yeah, this looks like another workshop, like the the one in the southwest part. Look there, that island is working on our ch charts, and looks like we can dock. Okay. Let's do it then. And also, while we're here, let me go ahead and erase this ugly spot on the map. Oh, cool. So it actually marks the, uh, the, like, the frogs you met on the map, too. That's good. Alright, let's check her out. Zaws I hope that's how you say that. Zaws Zauses? Who knows? This looks suspicious. This whole thing looks suspicious. <laughs> My man's got self-sustaining food, though. <laughs> oh, he's a blacksmith? Ooh, can I upgrade my sword? Excuse me. This isn't working. Maybe he can't hear us. You don't have to yell. I can hear you, know. So you guys were on a big adventure in search of the ghost ship, eh? Huh? How'd you know? Humans always think that, that unless they say something, others won't hear them. Truth is, people talk just as loudly with their hearts. But because people have mouths, they don't pay attention to their hearts. There's nothing I have to tell you now, Jim. But there will come a day when you require my power. It is then that you should pay, uh, pay another visit to Zaws the blacksmith. I assume... If I had to guess... I take my power gem, like the, I, the gems, I would take to this guy. And then he would upgrade my sword. That is my assumption. But then that makes me wonder, is there one on this island? Usually, I mean, that would make sense, right? Let's, let's just dig around. Let's, let's dig up a little bit. Well, maybe not. Okay, here we go. No.
There's got to be something in here. So no way this is just nothing, right? It's probably dead center, actually. But, oh well. No? Nothing? Maybe we need the, uh, the grappling hook, or whatever the hell it is, uh, to actually go to that upper section on the map there, and, um, maybe activate a switch to mess with that stone, like, weird tile we're looking at. Oh, maybe a hook shot is what we need? Hmm. I don't know, there are lots of questions. Lots of questions pertaining to that. Sound nice. Uh, there has to be something hiding. Oh, I, I know. There, there definitely does have to be something hiding, but I don't think I can do anything about it right now. Um, let's just head down. Let's make our way down. We'll go back to the uh, the Temple of the Ocean King. Uh, I forget the name of it. We'll go there, and then I'll end off the episode. But. So far, game has been a blast. I have greatly enjoyed it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's just from over there. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, let's see how much money you can get out of these things. I actually don't know. Probably drop some big green, right? Oh, it's split. Strange. So that's all this is, huh? Just green rupees? That's tough. I was hoping it would be uh more than just greens. Oh, that's tough. I'll let one of them sink it to the water. Alright. No, I don't. How much money did we make out of that? Maybe like 30? 30 rupees? Something? Merkay Island. That's where we need to be. Let's go ahead and get this golden frog if we come across one. I'm sure we will. It'd be nice to, anyway. So I don't have to keep, like, manually coming all the way back here. To old Merkay. Why can you shoot the birds? That's so random. Ah. Ah, we're almost there so thank you guys for watching if you liked the video be sure to leave a like and a comment down below it really helps the algorithm and in turn brings new people to the channel and if you really liked the video i'd greatly appreciate it if you subscribed i try my best to upload every day at 9 a.m edt so don't miss it um but next episode I guess we're going to go back into the uh, Temple of the Ocean King. We're going to probably end up going to the last temple, and then there's no way we just go straight to the ghost ship and beat the game, right? Like, I just don't believe that. There's got to be more to the game than that. But let me look at the items. Yeah, I mean, there's like, okay, so there's going to be one for the next dungeon, right? And then that leaves us with three more dungeon items. So... I imagine we're not close to beating the game. We're probably about like a third of the way through right now. But anyways, guys, uh, thank you guys for all the views on the first episode. Um, if you guys have any series suggestions for the future, be sure to leave them in the comments below. Uh, but like I said, I'll see you guys in the next episode and peace.